Tamor Hussein. Hello, Oscar. You have told me in the past that you are getting a bit sick of open world games and their overstuffed design. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people are feeling that open world fatigue. Yeah. Often you play an open world game and you can see the things that are the critical path cream of the crop things and then there's everything around it to distract you. A lot of the time stuff like that feels like filler. Yeah. Except you came away from having played Days Gone last mm. week feeling a little more encouraged about its simplicity, is that right? Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's really weird because I've been trying to figure out what it is that made it resp me respond to it so well. Not so well, but well. Mm -hmm. And I say well because my expectations were really low. We'd seen very little of it, and from what we've seen so far, you saw it at E3, yeah. it wasn't super encouraging. So my expectations were quite low. It's not an exceptional game by any means. Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing in there, there's no major feature that makes me go, wow, this is doing something different. Or there's no element of it that I'm like, holy crap, this is really exciting. Like, the fact that it's very, very restrained in what it does makes me feel good. Like, I feel like I'm not wasting my time. I'm getting the best out of it, mm -hmm. or I'm getting the kind of cream of the crop of what the developers thought of. And I found it to be quite a satisfying experience overall. Really? See, that's interesting, because when I when I played it at E3 last year, satisfying was the exact word I would not have used. Oh, really? I, I, I thought it it felt technically a bit rough, which at that stage is, is you know, mm. forgivable, because it was a few months away. Um, but I did not find the combat satisfying, or the stealth, or basically any of its mechanics satisfying at all. Mm. But it sounds like from what you and from what um, other people at GameSpot have said who have played it more recently, it sounds yeah. like it's improved a hell of a lot on that y front. Yeah, so on the site there's a written piece which is like a conversation between Alessandro and Ed and they talk about their kind of um, experience with the game. And one of the things they point out, which is exactly how I feel like, it feels like all the systems at times and it was frequently when I played it, they kind of come together in a way that synergizes really, really well. And the thing that I liked about it is I'm primarily a stealth player, but it allows, so I'm going to be playing stealth as much as I can, but there are people out there who like kind of go in, in and out of different styles of play. And I think the skirmishes and the encounters that it sets up, they allow you to do that pretty easily. The kind of feeling of the shooting felt really, really like, heavy and grounded and right. i really like that it doesn't have the slickness of something like last of us mm -hmm. where you're kind of moving between uh points and throwing things to distract and that kind of stuff it felt way more deliberate does it feel as punchy as the last i love i love how impactful every shot feels in something like the last of us does does days gone feel as good as that i feel like it has the same result but perhaps not the same kind of like slick feeling to it right i feel like it feels a little more rough and tumble so like i came away thinking i had to like kind of come to terms with the fact that the rough parts might be what actually makes it kind of interesting mm -hmm. like it's one of those classic double a games from 10 years ago scenarios yeah. where it's like this isn't as polished as something that naughty dog would do but there still feels like there's a lot of merit and there's a lot of interesting things happening in it so like that element of going into an encampment or silently taking out a few people accidentally getting caught mm. and then just going i'm gonna switch to my assault rifle and just go nuts here <laughs> then like i could do that take out a few enemies then retreat into some grass and then go back into the stealth mode and it felt really good doing that um shooting assault rifles again is is it felt heavy and punchy but almost bassy like they've done sound really well here i think it seems like that's improved a hell of a lot since i saw it E3. yeah yeah it felt it didn't sound as good at e3 but now it's it does feel or at least sound a lot more punchy yeah i mean it is a preview stage so everything i say comes with a caveat that it's a slice of the game yeah but like one of the things i really loved was i don't think there was a single weapon in that game that i used that made me feel powerful mm -hmm. so it felt like I need to be very careful. I need to be in the right distance so that I'm landing as many shots as possible. I need to make this quick, otherwise the zombies are gonna find me or the freakers are gonna find me. Yeah, oh yeah, they're not zombies. So they're called freakers. I think they like melded with, had some plant-based accident and, and now everyone is like weird um, zombie types. But it's like, you get, what's interesting, you get normal freakers who are dumb as hell. You can come up behind them, stab them in the neck and take them out. But then you get like, these hordes, which are really, really, really difficult to approach. So this is the thing that I, this is one thing I didn't like when I played it, was that it felt like every combat encounter 
descended into the same pattern of me running around for like 10 minutes oh. on end with a million zombies chasing yeah. me and it would just be like I'd run for 30 seconds turn around get a few shots off then they would have caught up so I'd have had to turn yeah. around again keep running do that for another 10 minutes do you know what I mean it yeah, just yeah. descended into the same pattern every time I think and it wasn't satisfying but has that changed it's still like that but I think the the uh, I, the way I, I don't know what section you started off, but because I started off from basically the start of the game the introduction to those hordes of zombies was a little more natural right. so I think the game warns you pretty well like don't screw with these guys they will take you out and also the other thing is like it's it's the bike is a big part of the game I was gonna ask about the bike yeah because it seems like that really is your lifeline and your life and soul and yeah I, I don't know I feel like it's been undersold a little bit but that to me could be the selling point for this game it could, if, yeah, if, um, if it's satisfying enough the problem is it's still just a bike I am wary about the way I say this but like for some people bike culture is really cool mm -hmm. but like for a lot of people when when um, this character Deacon St. John's like treating his bike as if it's a living child or something. Yeah. I'm just like, uh, this is a bit weird, man. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. The bike is good, but it's, it's, it could be the big thing. It is definitely interesting in that it lets, it's the main way that you move around the world. Um, there are fast travel points, but um, it's fun to drive around the world, if only because you get like a tour of the, the, scenario, the scenes and that kind of stuff. Mm. Um, but the other thing I really like is like there's random ambushes. Right. So the world like we haven't is talked. This Far Cry Two. It kind of feels like Far Cry Two. Like <laughs> I think you might dig it because like it has that unexpected element. But like occasionally you'll be driving and then you'll notice, oh crap, I'm about to be ambushed. Either obviously because there's a roadblock, or like they'll just come out of nowhere and start firing at you, and you have to deal with that. Um, and that's a really interesting mechanic that kind of keeps you on edge the entire time. Mm. And you get you get to like. You, upgrade that bike and because you start off with a very very it's like the bike gets i don't know if this is a spoiler actually the bike gets like metroided where it's like you've got all powerful bike but now you've got rubbish bike you got a bicycle yeah yeah <laughs> you've got one of those one foot scooters <laughs> that you need to ride around in. you build that bike up and you do that by going to camps and taking out missions for people and and there are loads of characters i think ed described it as state of decay's focus on characters mixed with far cry's kind of open world but pull it back a bit and mm. i think that's a really good way of coming at it the the characters you speak to in camps are generally interesting they've been through some stuff this takes place sometime after the apocalypse happened um so you do get a nice mixture of like open world activities and also characterization that could go places there's a bunch of concurrent storylines the one thing that i'll point out is like deacon seems to be an interesting character but he goes from zero to 100 like at the sight of a zombie and he is very angry at zombies right like it, it's really off-putting how quickly he goes from zero to I'm gonna murder every zombie in the world but otherwise like the, the it seems like there's an interesting story there the, the 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 thing that freaks me out not freaks me out but like confuses me or catches me off guard is the 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 groundedness of it like it has that Sons of Anarchy style thing where you're like just in this this open area open world and it ha you're in it for long enough doing things that are norm not normal but like doing things that are not weird long enough for you to forget that there's zombies around sometimes right, yeah, yeah. and then you'll turn and it'll be like oh you need to do some mad zombie shit and you're like oh crap i forgot that was happening yeah so in summary then it sounds like you're feeling cautiously optimistic is that is that a fair uh summary of your feelings on days gone so far yeah like returning to the thing that i was saying at the start there's nothing that i think is blowing me away about it but i don't think every game needs to have that like it would be great if it did mm. but this is one of those games where i feel a bit tired by and kind of worn out by these overstuffed and over designed like as we said at the start open world games like i love spider-man but there was a whole load of collectibles that didn't need to be there yeah i love far cry but there's so many missions that can be cut um red dead like there's a lot of stuff that could have been made easier like the traversal getting to things i love that game but there's elements of it that could have been cut so this is like it feels like a I described it as a no frills open world experience mm -hmm. and that's kind of exciting to me because you get what is effectively the cream of the crop from the developer's perspective they're not mm -hmm. putting in any like extra fat in here mm -hmm. and you get to do, you still get that sensation of like being given a task taking that task off seeing growth in your character um so that's what's exciting me about it i'm looking forward to kind of digging into the world and 
being able to play stealth in this zombie game that is also got a bike in it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, for more on Days Gone, including a preview from fellow freakers Alessandro and Ed, mm -hmm. head over to GameSpot.com. Oh, crap. Ah! 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 Ah!